Hello everyone, uh, this is Valentine, I'm today's host. Um, we have a good friend from South Africa, so we shall be going through the interview. Hello, I'm Cindy, I'm from South Africa. I've been in China for almost two years. Um, I'm a teacher here and I will be going back soon. So Cindy, uh, why China? Why China? So what happened was I applied two places, Dubai and China. So China sent me the contract earlier for a teaching position here. And then I was like, okay, why not? So that's why China. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. So do you regret uh, missing out on Dubai? No, I don't. Um, I do think what would have happened if I went there, but China is a really cool place. I like it. It's been fun. I've had a real big culture shock in the beginning, but it's been fun. So have you traveled around uh, some cities around China? Um, I've been to Beijing to see the Great Wall of China. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see the Forbidden City. I've been here in Xi'an on the city wall. I went to the Terracotta Warriors. I went to the Avatar Mountains. I can't pronounce that name, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> so what was your biggest shock about the Terracotta Warriors? The Terracotta Warriors. It was pretty amazing to see the detail that it was maintained in, like maintained in. So that was really nice to see that big tomb. It was really big though. And the shock was how many people there was because I went on a holiday and there was so many people. It's ridiculous how many people there was. So I was just curious uh, if you talk about uh, so many people, how about Beijing, the Great Wall? Did you find so many people or? Yes, I went on the, in the week of the October holiday they have and it was crazy. That's the reason I didn't get to see the Forbidden City. We were on our way to go in and then I told my friend, I was like, I can't, I can't handle these people. It's too many. Too many of them. Mm. So just curious about food. Uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, My favorite food food is called Tang Su Li Ji. That's the first word I learned to say in Chinese. Um, it's like a sweet and sour thingy covered pork in chicken. dough. Yes, pork chicken thing. It's really nice. Um, I need to make a lot of food at home though because I have a gluten allergy and I'm lactose intolerant. So my options are very limited, but I can still go to restaurants and eat out and stuff. There is a lot of Western, Western restaurants in China. So it's not like just noodles and rice. So uh, what things do you like in China? I like the fact that you can travel easily from point A to point point B without any troubles getting the tickets and stuff is not a big hassle as well and um, I like the fact that you can just use your WeChat your WeChat to pay for anything really it's very easy I really have ca any cash on me because everything's on my phone uh, describe China in one word I would say amazing So let's compare Xi'an and your hometown. Uh, my hometown is busy, but Xi'an is busier. Um, it's not, my hometown is also not very, like you can, you need a car to get from point A to point B, where in Xi'an you can just hop on a subway train and go wherever yeah. you want or grab a taxi or get a DD or take a bus. There's so many options here where in my city, it's not possible. You, you need to have a car. And yeah, otherwise, the weather as well. Um, Xi'an's weather is constantly changing. If it's hot in South Africa, it's hot in South Africa. So yeah. So you mean it's more convenient in, in Xi'an than you? Yes, it's definitely more convenient here in Xi'an than in my own city. Uh, so what advice can you give to people uh, who are planning on coming to China? If you do plan to come to China, come to China with an open mind and um, make your boundaries a little bigger towards other people and other people's concerns and stuff like that and enjoy it while you're here uh, cool thank you for having me guys and if you're watching this video please like and share it and watch more videos from foreign experience thank you goodbye